Hey guys, um, real quick before we start the actual normal lectures, this is a new lecture that I'm adding specifically for your class that was requested by the previous one. And so what we're going to cover in this is some basic file management and how I would kind of recommend you guys structure things um, to better keep track of your work, to keep things organized and whatnot. Okay, so um, the way that I personally structure all my things is I typically have it named by the class and then I have work inside of that. So as an example, um, this is uh, the folder that I have for my master's program. And so in this case, I numbered them uh, just, you know, here's each class, here's the class code. And then if I was to go inside of there, here's different things. Now this is a little bit messier than I would typically do it even, but I was, you know, doing that. And then inside of each of these folders is different chunks of um, work that I was working on at various points. Um, some are a little bit better organized. Some have more files than others. So you can see that there's just kind of things going on there. Um, but at least in this way, I have it chunked out in different sections. Um, let's see, I'll grab a different folder. So um, my own stuff from, where is it? So here's uh, when I actually took corporate design. <laughs> you can see 2009 on some of these dates. Um, so this was my uh, my own Arts uh, 42 class, which uh, again, I think was corporate design. Um, so I have a couple files here. I don't know what those are. They may have been presentation. Um, and then here's the two projects we had. So we had a corporate office and a loft. If I go into the corporate office, I have it chunked out as AutoCAD files are in here. Here's a bunch of AutoCAD files. Uh, the final presentation, so here's a bunch of files for the presentation. Um, images, these are just images that I used as concept art or in the process of rendering things, just figuring out what the design looked like. Um, these are the render scenes, so actually the program I used generated a bunch of files, so I put them all in a folder so that I didn't get everything all, you know, messy. And then SketchUp files, so here's all the individual SketchUp files that I used for this. So, um, Figure out a way that works for you that you can structure things. Um, if that's the case, then I might do something like, um, you know, start out with the class. So each class is, you know, named by its own class code. And then within that, you would have, um, for example, in this class, we'll have a milestone one. We will have a project one, Oops, not phone, project one. Um, and then eventually we'll have a milestone two, and then we'll have a project two. And so, and obviously this will go on further. So then within each project, so let's say milestone one, you'll end up with a file or two in here. Milestone two, you'll probably also have one file in here. But then your project one, you might have um, concept art that you would use. You would then have your uh, working files. Um, and then possibly just in the main folder here, I would leave like a copy of the PDF for the project prompt. So that way, if you're going back in and you're trying to find something, you would be able to go to, you know, um, go to the class, go to project, and then go, what was that art? Oh, here it is right here. It's in the concept art. Or I need my files. Here's your SketchUp file right in here. So that's something that I would highly recommend you guys do. Something else that... Um, I need to make sure you guys are working on this year as well is naming for your files correctly and then zipping them correctly. So I'm going to go to new right here, just to right click on the desktop, click new and do a text document. Um, and so when you guys actually do name your files, um, I will be kind of enforcing this a little bit more strictly this year as well. Um, I want all your files named with your first initial and your last name. So in my case, I'm Lorencia and then what the file is. Um, with your project handouts, your milestones and your projects, um, I will tell you what I want the files named. So um, in this case, this is just gonna be demo.txt, right? Um, oh, new Windows does it automatically. Okay, so this file is just gonna be demo. Um, you typically don't have to do the .txt. Windows actually obscures that and it already knows it's a text document, so I don't have to worry about that. So um, I would have this file here and then um, in the event that you you were going to turn something in, let's say that you have a, I know uh, project one is a, has a several files to it. 
And what I have you guys do in Project One is actually zip um, your thing together so that you can send it instead of sending a whole bunch of individual files. So then I might create another folder here for turn in. And I would put this file in here, um, maybe two pictures of my dog. Um, and so then once I've got this, what I'm going to do, so this is my turn in folder. Again, I've got, you know, the files that I need to turn in right here. Um, and again, rename them, pep, uh, rename them correctly. So photo, no, photo one, photo one. Okay. That's just that. Um, okay. So I've got my files in here. They're all named correctly. Great. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to choose send to desktop and compressed zip folder. And um, it's going to keep it in here. And so then this would be. Okay. So right there. Now, if I was to take this, I'm going to move it out to my desktop here instead of in this folder. So then this is now a zipped folder. So I can close this, get rid of that. And then if I open this up, you can see here's my turn in folder. Here's each of the files that are there individually. All right. Um, so again, on all the files you turn into me, I want to see again, your first initial last name underscore, and then what the file is, um, those lists will be present. And if you're ever wondering, I do tell you what the extension is, but if you ever want to check, just right click on it, choose properties. Um, and then you can see the actual direct file name here. Um, this seems a bit weird, but you'll get used to it pretty quick. Um, just double checking everything. So when you guys do turn things in, just give it a once over and make sure everything's named correctly and organized um, clearly. And then do, do yourself a favor and also double check that uh, all the files um, are there because <laughs> that, that hurts some people. All right, um, I will see you guys in the next lecture.